Recently, Aaron and I were out on a four wheel drive trip and the discussion came up around, can you use diesel oils in petrol motors? And then people started talking about, well, what do all the numbers mean? And there was a whole bunch of confusion. So Aaron's done a heap of research and with the Penrite HPR Diesel 10 that's in front of us here now, we're going to look at what the numbers mean and just unlock and unpackage all of the stuff on the front of an oil container. Yep. So Aaron, take us through the first, the name here, like HPR Diesel 10 Semi-Synthetic. What's that about? All right, so uh, in, in regards to Penrite's range of oils, you've got their HPR range, which is their high performance range of oils. And with this particular oil, uh, their Diesel 10, it's a, an oil that is designed specifically for diesel applications. Uh, in that it has additives that are suitable for diesel engines. So that might be like a detergent product to help hold soot and stuff in suspension to carry it to the oil filter. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the combustion cycle in diesels you know, are typically a lot dirtier than petrol applications, so those oils do need to have additional additives that protect your motor from that type of stuff. Okay, so, so the HPR is the high performance range, the semi-synthetic, Okay, so in oils, most people tend to understand the terminology of a synthetic oil or a mineral-based oil. So that's referring to the base oil that's used, you know, prior to putting all those additives in there. So a mineral oil, that's an oil that's basically been refined from naturally occurring products that, you know, um, out of the ground. Out of the ground. Yeah. Um, whereas a synthetic oil is a base oil that is effectively created um, chemically in a factory facility lab. Sure. Uh, yeah. So, so very the chemi the chemistry has been intentionally designed for a high performance application. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Penrite's gone. Well, this is going to give us the best result yep. if we combine mineral and and man made, so to speak, bring it together. Take us into the numbers here. Now, I know that the W stands for winter. Yeah. But what does the ten stand for? Okay, so your winter rating, so we're, we're talking viscosity ratings. So that's- Which is the thickness, how easy it flows. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So um, the first number that you see, so that's followed by the W, is the cold viscosity of that oil. So that's how thick it is under a cold start application. Okay, so a bigger number would be thicker? Yeah, correct. Okay, so what does the 40 stand for? Okay, so your 40 is the viscosity or the thickness of the oil, or it's, it's resistance to flow at operating temperature. So the higher the number there means the oil is thicker, it has a thicker oil film uh, at operating temperature. So when, they're, when these tests are conducted, they're usually done at 100 degrees. So that's looking at how thick your oil is effectively okay. at 100 degrees. Okay. Now, Penrite has this whole thing they call the double layer of protection. They talk about the extra 10 and the full zinc, mm -hmm. which those two elements provide that double layer of protection. What's the extra 10? I believe that's to do with the, the viscosity or that 40 rating. Yeah, sure. So uh, with Penrite's product, they've been using this extra 10 technology for quite some time. Now, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a, a complex thing to get your head around, uh, but effectively, Penrite's product has been designed in such a way that the oil has all the properties of a 40 weight oil, so a slightly thicker oil, but it's backwards compatible with a, 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 a when a manufacturer calls for say a 10W30 oil, okay. it's also suitable for that application. So basically the extra 10 technology is about ensuring that that oil continues to perform at higher operating temperatures or under load conditions. So that's going to mean sh make sure that our oil pressure stays stable. Yep, uh, absolutely. Gonna, for control, we're going to also probably manage um, oil consumption, I would think, sure. because effectively we've got a thicker oil in the engine, Yep. even though it's backwards compatible to a, to a vehicle that requires a thinner oil. Sure, absolutely. Okay, that's very clever technology. Now, what's this full zinc about? Okay, so full zinc is obviously an oil additive and it's an anti-wear agent. So zinc in the oil effectively forms or coats your moving metallic parts in your engine mm -hmm. um, with a sacrificial layer of zinc. So it's, it's an additional lubricant, I guess you could call it, so we in were, the oil. We were playing with this a bit earlier. So effectively, <laughs> playing, <laughs> so effectively... Don't touch me. <laughs> the zinc in here is going to provide 
a sacrificial layer between two metal components. If my hands represent metal components, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, cool. There you go, man. Oh. <laughs> Right, you can you can keep that one. All right, no, no, it's looking good. It's looking good. I don't know how well it works as a moisturiser, though. I mean, into the hair. <laughs> Something I've only just recently learned about, Aaron, is the API and ACEA ratings. I didn't understand how important they are to selecting the right oil. Yeah, absolutely. Can you unpack that a bit for us? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, most people do think about oils in terms of viscosity, right? Yes. And that's definitely not the only factor that you need to consider when choosing an oil. What the API or ACEA ratings for an oil are, that's your international standards effectively that designate what that oil is designed to do or the applications that it's appropriate for, whether they be for diesel vehicles, petrol vehicles, diesel vehicles that are fitted with exhaust treatment systems like DPF functions. Okay, or, or run that ad blue or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, so it's important that the you, when you select an oil, that it meets your manufacturer's requirements. So it need, you need to consider the API or ACEA rating. Okay, so go to your handbook, find out what that rating is, and make sure you buy an oil suitable to it. So this HPR Diesel 10 from Penrite is actually more suited to the older vehicles, if I understand correctly. Yeah, so the in, in terms of modern emission standards, a, a lot of your, your newer diesels, particularly from 2016 onwards, have diesel particulate filters. So if you were to use, say, this oil in that application, it's not designed to be for that. So you may have problems with your particulate filters. Okay. Uh, so there are oils that, you know, unfortunately are more costly, but have been designed for those tighter and stricter emissions control systems. So, so we shouldn't let budget drive that because it could cost us on the back end, we might wreck our DPF filters or... Correct, yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. So wow. it is definitely important that wow. you select the right oil for the application. Yeah, okay, that's, um, that's a bit of a warning for us there. Yeah. You yeah. Know. Uh, so, so make sure, now the good thing is Penrite has an extensive range of products that are going to suit all of the modern vehicles, all of the older vehicles. Mm -hmm. How's a good way we can get access to that? So I, I typically find if you want to Google Penrite NetLube, uh, it'll come up with a link to Penrite's tool that allows you to input your vehicle details okay. and it will make suggestions based on your manufacturer specifications. So you don't even have to think about the right. process. Uh, and it'll tell you a, a range of solutions that are applicable for your vehicle. Well, Aaron, to round this conversation and video out, yep. we're out on a camping trip. We're all confused about oils and what do we use. Yep. We had a petrol engine that needed some oil. Mm -hmm. We had diesel oil in a container. Yep. Can we use that diesel oil in the petrol motor? Yeah, look, the, the short answer is yes, because if, if you look at the, the ratings that are on this oil, you have uh, this here, which is your CI4 rating, which is a diesel application uh, right. under the API scheme, but you also have this SL. So SL is an application for petrol engines. Okay. So yeah, absolutely. And the major differences that you're going to find between the diesel and petrol engine oils is the detergents. Okay. Yeah, for hand, for, so it's not going to do your engine any harm having those so if you had a dirty, a petrol engine that maybe hadn't had enough service intervals and was a bit dirty, you could actually put a diesel oil in there to use the detergents to clean some of that soot and get that out of the motor. Yeah, look, it's definitely going to provide that, that, that cleaning, but you know, if it's really, really dirty, I mean, that, that could cause you other growth. <laughs> yeah. It, have... it's, it's not a miracle cure. For, no, but it's, a, it's, it's something you can throw in there. certainly seems uh, like a fascinating subject mm -hmm. that there's a whole heap of depth to. Look, um, the, the packaging solutions that Penrite have got on their oil range is really cool. And, yeah. and uh, you know, this, this box here, the Enviro box, actually won an award in 2017 because it uh, reduces the amount of packaging required to carry the oil. So it's an environmental solution, which mm -hmm. is fantastic. And functionality, you know, 20 litres, you might go, you know, that's a lot of oil for, for if you own one vehicle. It's pretty much two services in a Land Cruiser, you know, so. Good point, good you know, point. It's probably cheaper to buy it that way yeah, too. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, so this is a really good way to buy oil. <laughs> um, and, uh, but you know, you can just come and grab some oil out of the top up and it's got the literage scale on the front here so you can actually keep track of how much oil's still left in the Enviro box, which is very clever. 
Now something I think is a great idea is to carry at least a litre of oil in your vehicle at all times, especially if you're out four wheel driving and yeah, on the absolutely. touring. Absolutely. And you know, with an engine, generally speaking, once you find the oil for an engine, mm -hmm. you stick with that oil. Yep. So you don't be swapping oil types all the time. Every oil change, if you're running HPR diesel, because that's the right oil for your application, keep running it. Yep. Have a litre in the car for a top up out on the trip, you, something goes wrong, you've got it. And then you've got your 10 litres and your 5 litres as well. So there's a whole range of packaging solutions from the guys at Penrite. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Aaron, anything else we should help the viewers? Look, I think one of the things that is you know, close to my heart is uh, the fact that Penrite oils are designed and blended right here in Australia. So they're designed yeah, wow. for Australian conditions. 1926 they started. Yeah, so it's at 92 years, thereabouts. Yeah, so you're good on the math, while, man. I wouldn't know. Uh, you, you should get a, a, a point there. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm Mad Matt. I'm not. Stay safe on the trails.